This is the simplifying fraction worksheet that needs to be completed. Well, since most of you left early, uh, I went through and was making sure I got this done. And I wanted to show you. So the first thing you have to do is figure out what does 4 go into 20, which it does. So that makes it 1 times 4. And then, once you get that in, then you have to figure out, okay, so 4 does go into 20, so mark in your 4. And then what times 4 gives you 20? And that should be 5. Now, once you have that in, you have to out, you can cancel out, which I'm now changing. You cancel out the 4s. And now you have, all you have left is now the fraction that has lowest terms, which is 1 over 5. So make sure you have this on your paper. All right, now, number six, you got, I know eight goes into 40, so it'll be one eighth. Okay, and again, since eight, I know eight goes into 40, so we'll mark down the eight. Next. After you mark the 8, how many times does 8 go into 40, which is now 5 times. Again, we're going to go over here and put our cancellation. And that leaves you with 1 over, no, forget that, 1 over 5. Okay, Cubs? Keep it going. Next, you got 3, which is a prime number, so that's automatically 1 times 3. And so, we know that you have to have a 3, and what times 3 gives is 15, and that would be, of course, 5. Now we'll go over here, and we'll cancel out the 3's, and that leaves you again with 1 fifth, 1 over 5. Alright, so Cubs, we only have one more to go, and again, you have a prime number, which is 3, and that, so that's 1 times 3, and since I know that the 3, and 3 times 3 is 9, so again, cross out your combo, your common ones, and that leaves us with, again, one third. So now go back and make sure you have all the top ones done. Okay, now we're going to start part two, which is finding all the factors of each of the numbers. You need to include one and the number. So number three, so A is three, so what, go, what times what gives us three? Being a prime number, so one and three. And again, it is a prime number, so I'll mark that for you. Next one, 15, and we go 
one and I know that three and three times what five and the last one is 15 there's your Okay, 36. So we know 1 times 36. Next one. I'm going to change color up here. Okay, 2 times what? It gives us 36. And that should be 18. And now we're going to go to the next color, which will give us 3 times what gives us 36. And that would be 12. And then we're going to switch the colors up again. And we got 4. And that's four times nine gives us thirty six. And then last but not least, we go one more color six times six. So that's now those are all the factors of thirty six. So now we got to come up with the factors of 9. Okay, 1 times 9. And then we also know that 3 times 3. I think I'll just make the same color. So that is, those are the factors of 9. Now 24. Well, 1 times 24. That should always be your first one. And if you fill this out the way I'm doing it, it will make it easier and faster for you. Okay, so what times, so I got 2, and I know 2 times 12 gives me 24. All right, another color here. I know 3 goes into it. 3 times 8, okay, and then last but not least, we got 4, uh, I'll go with a different color here, kind of move it around, didn't quite click on that, alright, yeah, 4, nope, I think I'll erase that, and get Try a different color here, so you, can, so you can see the difference. Okay, get a color. Okay, there we go. Four times six, and that fills out this paper. Now, Cubs, you got to get this work done and not just turn in blanks. I have gone through and done it with you, I've done it for you, if nothing else, mark the paper on the sheet, and I will see you tomorrow.